Hello, folks. This is Jeff Davis with the legendary Jeff Davis Show from Central Texas, USA. And I love my Canton archives. Peace out, baby. When I got to be about 18, probably about 17 years old in high school, I would see the Channel One being beamed in from Washington, telling us America was bad and socialism was good. And I would hear all this ridiculous shenanigans, and I wasn't sure, and I would watch how things worked, and I've just got half a brain, really, and I could see the manipulation, I could see the lies, and once somebody's lied to me repeatedly, Jeff, I'm not well, going to start to kind of figure it out. Huh? I, well, I'm not going to trust somebody once they've lied to me a hundred times, and our media's been caught from from the food line to the, to the Chevrolet pickups, blowing those up, you know, they're just engaged in total propaganda. And then I found out who controls them. I found out that the whole left-right paradigm is all false. I found out that it's really all a bunch of super rich, corrupt families who really don't want any, any new wealth to be formed. <laughs> and i tell you the truth, I used to think you could still work within the two-party system. And I used to watch your program and think, no, Jeff's wrong. Jeff, you know, Jeff, sure, w there are some militarization. Sure, there probably are a few black helicopters. The Fed may be bad. Sure, yeah, yeah. I mean, I knew the Fed was private. I knew yeah. no one would talk about it at universities. But then, then I saw the big picture because it, I guess it was the respect I had for the media. Not an outright respect, but I grew up with my parents and grandparents. Seeing them watch television and respect what people said, because they're good people, and they thought the people on television were like them, decent people. They just, we judge the people around us kind of by the way we are. And if you're a good person, you're pretty trusting. And then at a certain point, when I saw the media begin to even admit this stuff and act like, hey, what's wrong with the police state? Hey, what's wrong with totalitarian behavior? It's for the children. Then I began to respect you a lot more, and the more I've read into this information, when I find out the photographs right here, the UN burning Somali children that will show later, and when I took a trip around the country just three months ago, my documentary will be out soon, and, and, and I saw for myself, Jeff, I saw for myself the UN signs at most of our national parks that's been handed over by Executive Order 12,986. And when I saw that, and when I would point to the people at the, at the parks and say, do you see this UN sign? They'd say, oh, what's wrong with the UN? Let them run the parks. We need mm. them. And then I found who controls the UN, corrupt interest. People are delusional. They will not face up to what's happening. Let me just, it is, it is Alex, actually a very hard uh, paradigm to reach. Um, because as we were talking outside, and I'm just going to be very blunt with you and, and the, uh, the, the viewers of this program, I had mentioned to you that uh, when I was 34 years old, after a couple of years of research on this, I basically woke up to the understanding that this whole thing, everything I had taught, you know, everything I had been taught, you know, was basically false. And that doesn't matter if it's military. It's hard to accept that. Right, it is very hard to accept that the whole world is a lie. But essentially... The more that you study it, and the more you start to see it, uh, you realize that basically we are essentially not in control, not really in control of our own destiny. Other people are deciding and manipulating things, and if they allow us to gain some materialistic things and allow us to uh, uh, proceed with some things, then we'll, we'll have it. But essentially, we are not in control of our own destiny, and. Um, and that's that a lot hard of people, for a, that's lot, hard for a man to accept. Or very what? hard for people to accept because you know if they've bought into the lie for so long as I did for 34 years, you know it's hard to accept. Uh, let me just um, talk to you a little bit, Alex, about the. Uh, you know, we we were talking privately, and I want to I want to keep it at, at that because I think we're very effective when we we sit around privately. Oh, it's, in, and, it's incredible. And talk about this stuff. Uh, I think that'll be the the most powerful. Uh, discussion we could have here tonight um, but we, we talked about some of the things that the enemy and that's what they are we don't have we're not going to spend a lot of time on this this program this special uh, program here tonight talking about the enemy that's you know we, we, anybody that uh, studies it knows it's the Federal Reserve and the World Bank and the International Bankers what we want to talk about today 
is some of the, the some of the tactics, some of the diversions, some of the mechanisms that the uh, that the enemy has used to 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 enslave us. It's very painful to see how people lap this these lies up to manipulate us. What what do, what is your understanding, Alex? And I and I believe that you're you're constantly growing. Well, actually, we're all constantly growing in the understanding of some of these things because it's, it's a very powerful uh, propaganda machine. What is what is some of the understandings that you think that you are seeing uh, as far as some of the, you know, it's like Rome. Rome used uh, with the with the slaves of Rome. They used diversions, bread and circus, gladiators. What do you see in this modern day system? Uh, tactics that the uh, the current emperors are using against the uh, the American public. Jeff, it's I'm tired of being a pompous person who's who. I've never really been pompous, but you, f you want to feel pompous when you see how stupid people are because that's what scares me. I'm not even that smart, and it's so obvious. But what's funny is let me just enter just just I gotta just do this brief. You and I were once dumb as dirt. I mean, we were all born into this. Why? We were once dumb as dirt. Okay. So the understanding well, is that we can all awaken from this. You can awake from the deep sleep they want to keep you in. Um, Jeff, the scariest part that I finally had to realize, I was part of the system. I, I would think, well, yeah, we can fight in the system. We can change things in the system. And then when I saw that it is all a delusion controlled by corrupt crime interest, very sophisticated interest, to think of us as animals and useless feeders, as Ted Turner said, and... You know, now the reality is no one wants to talk about the UN. They're fixing to restrict our industrial output by 20%, but no one else has to do anything. Uh, the UN now owns part of ACTV. And, and, and people who just heard that, they won't check it out. That Ted Turner gave them a billion dollars in choice stock. The scary part is they don't care about us. They actually, as leaders, want to mutate us mentally. I don't mean as in a, in a genetic sense, but they want to give us the most low-level thoughts, teach us to be the most rat-like creatures that only care about the baseline of posing. And that's what our society, and that's what scares me about this elite is, is they are hell-bent on destroying the human spirit of the general population because their criminal spirit is very threatened by the basic family unit. It's very, it's very threatened by ingenuity and 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 self-realization is extremely threatened by humans wanting to achieve their potential in a legal manner and so they wish to criminalize the whole system through thuggery and debase us down to the level of rodents yeah no, that, that those are some excellent point alex i want to just uh, some of the diversions that i uh that I want to just get touch briefly on some of the specifics. You know, I personally believe that the uh, the enemy is uh, smuggling in large portions of the drugs into this country. And I'm just talking about this country, folks. This is the world. I, this is the world. Order. I personally know, with, and again, I say this quite often because people need to understand. I don't want to endanger my family, but not my father or my mother, but other members of my family have been involved in the Central Intelligence Agency. And let me tell you, we. They're the ones. The whole drug war, police here in town have told me, it's all about controlling competition. Yeah. Well, let me let me just make my point here. Now, you know, there's there's several elements of diversions that the uh, what I believe the American people, the enemy of the American people. Uh, again, this is a world problem, so I'm just addressing the American people. Uh, there, there are several diversions that the enemy of this world. Uh, uses one of them being the, the, the importation of drugs to control people's minds, the control of public schools, um, apathy. I want to have Alex touch upon that here in, in just a moment here. But uh, there's many different, you know, social programs control people, taxes control people, uh, very various different mechanisms that the that the enemy is using now. I want to, because uh, we had talked about this privately outside the uh, the uh, before the, the program began here today. I want to ask ask Alex about the uh, many of you know we we sit and talk about this. We 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 have private discussions about this and how a lot of people are just you know they're caught up in the Dallas Cowboys. They're caught up in the uh, cheeseburger. Uh, the, yeah, cheeseburger. You know, going to their job. Ted Koppel, Dan Rather. You know football going to bed how do you believe 
well, there's no belief about it, but but what are some of the various uh, mechanisms that you see that they have that they have created to to uh, what I consider to be one of the greatest problems, and that is just being basically make people apathetic to to what's happening around them. Jeff, you just said it. It's group psychology. Through the media and its well-packaged lies, they make people accept the false idea that they are part of the system, that they are part of the establishment, that they have a stake in the status quo. And I got news for you. The status quo is dumbing down the public, brainwashing, stagnating the intelligentsia into a click of twits. Um, and everything is looks and glamour and glitz. No one really, you know, you, the oldest saying, and it used to be a great saying, and you never hear it anymore, is never judge a book by its cover. You need to read deep into that book before you know what's going on. And maybe that's one of the, one of the beauties of my life, is I've been lucky enough to have been taught, I made a lot of mistakes, but to take my time checking things out, not to make up my mind on something. Yeah, that's good, because a lot of people, are, you know, are just reacting. Boom. Instead of stop, thinking things. That, stop reacting, start acting. Right. And start thinking. You want, exactly. And you want, to, you want to talk about diversions. I mean, we make the joke a lot. Woo, Dallas Cowboys. Woo, Longhorns. Oh, is that commercialism? And, and people sit around for hours instead of talking about politics and their families' lives and how they can move forward and how they can be an active part in the real world of geopolitics and real politics. Rather, they're taught to be obsessed with a little puck or a ball or a bat or a mitten and, and, and to know the whole science and the whole nuance of, Fashion. The, of, 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 of whatever cup of tea they, they lay out a whole platter of diversion. Yes, yeah, sir. And once you take in, once you drink from that cup, it's over. And they get you obsessed, and you learn the whole science. I'll hear people, and I'll watch a great live sports game. I know you enjoy sports. Sure, watch your Indians. Is. Watch your, you know, your yeah. your your your, uh, your your football teams. But does that mean the morning you're a slave? Does that mean that's all you're obsessed with? Well, our these, minds are still free. Yes, these people yeah. will focus 110 percent body and soul only on the sport. Yeah, and they won't know what's happening around them. And and, and and they know every nuance, but they can't tell you who the representative is. They can't tell you who the who, who their congressman or senator. They can't tell you who the mayor is sometimes. What the Federal Reserve is. They can't tell you basic, the basic foundation of their society. And what they are is, sadly enough, delusional serfs, slaves, minions, whatever you want to call them. And I don't say this to feel better about people. It frightens me because I'm in the river with them. We're flowing together in this big mass of humanity. The, the only difference is, is that we understand some of these things, and, and many people do not. Now, you've been mentioning to me privately, Alex, about a, uh, and I'm not going to mention any movie, but a quote that has been stated here recently. And that is basic, uh, that every man dies, but not every man really lives. You got it. And I think that that's uh, so appropriate. I, I every really, man dies, but every I think man there's a lot live. of people that, that men and women, in fact, that uh, that are uh, that uh, actually are just kind of literally just zombie types. I don't want to get into a discussion of insulting people, but the fact is, folks, you know, the the fact is we are, you know, many we've lost many of our rights here now in this country. Uh, and we're, we're losing many of our resources, and many of and, and many of you all still. But Jeff, still are not. But Jeff, uh, still are not. Jeff, Jeff, the collective has been strengthened mightily. Yeah. Still, many of you lay down to to what's And happening. the banker's power has only been increased. I want to just now uh, before we get into the next uh, topic here, we, we want to basically what we're doing here, folks, is we're exposing what I uh, what I know is a lie in this world, and. Um, we're visiting with Alex Jones. He's a, uh, a local radio host. Uh, also has uh, some, a couple of shows down here on uh, Awesome Cable Vision or Time Warner. I want to just uh, mention a couple of things here. Uh, first off, folks, 
um, kind of what we've been to, to kind of tie this into a point. We've been uh, talking about a little bit about this. I'm going to let Alex expand on this before we uh, before I move on to something else. But th this title here uh, says a lot here, Alex, as far as uh, what's happening to our world. And uh, let me just put it up here briefly here. Conspiracy for global control. And it's in front of my face, but that's okay, folks, because this is important information, and I don't care if my face is covered. Go ahead, Alex, tell us a little bit about how uh, what this is all about here, what the magazine is saying. Basically, people figured out a long time ago from the time of the first kings that it's the man that has the guard, the force, the power, and who is willing to squash his subjects who has the control. And they figured out it doesn't matter who's got the best ideas or anything. What matters is if you've got the force and the control of resources. And America is in a struggle for its very lifeblood right now. This month, by the time this program is airing, it'll be going on live. Al Gore is going to go to Kyoto, Japan. And he's going to restrict our fossil fuel and power intake up to 20%, and no one else has to comply with anything. America has to have tariffs against it of upwards of 15% in every other country, but we have a 2% on average on other countries. America has to deal with no environmental laws in other countries and no human rights, but we have all that, which is good. It is a deindustrialization plan, not by accident, not by folly. These people have the power because they're premeditated and they're evil. And it's easy to ignore this. You won't have to get a headache and bust your brain about thinking about it if you just ignore it. But my God, you could be a human being and you could think about it. And exactly, every man dies, but not every man lives. And if people could just for one second, feel the human spirit and stop this dehumanization, it could be incredible. Let me just move on to the next. And Alex, you're doing a fantastic, I gotta say you're doing a fantastic job. Um, folks, basically what, 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 I, what this is all about here, um, and quite frankly, I don't care if you believe me or not. I don't care if you believe Alex or not. I'm, I'm beyond... Uh, See, Jeff, I used to try to argue with him. I'm about beyond... Finally, just hang Yeah, on. I'm beyond uh, worrying about that. If you want to go on in your own little... Uh, believe in the, uh, the reality... The uh, pap. Yeah, the reality... Uh, uh, the little paradigm they spin. I come up with a good term for that today. The reality uh, uh, shortened media. <laughs> I, I actually had a better term than that. It was but I better. I remember I saw your live But... I want to just mention that then go ahead, okay, go ahead. Don't, you don't have to listen now. You don't have to listen to me, and, and I'm not, uh, I'm just, I'm just. Uh, Keep bumbling along, and the they'll, only, just, they'll the just laugh at you. The only question is in all of this, and I'll, I'll ask that question at the end, because that, that's the pivotal question uh, that uh, I know many people are asking. But I want to, I want to just, first off, folks, you have to understand that, that basically that, that this current problem goes back to 1776. I'm not going to linger into all of that because we've got a lot of information here that we want to get into, a lot of different uh, uh, sources yes, of information. Yes, we have photographs of the U.N. burning little children. All right, we've got a lot of different things here, and I want to just, add, I want to just stay on, on target here. But this current problem actually does go back to 1776. And I want to just mention the one other thing here, if I can find it. But uh, basically, George, it was George Washington, many years ago, who came up with a quote that I want to read here to you, and I want Alex to uh, kind of delve into the, uh, the total plan of the people who control the system now. And I think that it, uh, you'll An find An authoritarian it, police state. Which, and I wanted to also mention, folks, that many of this stuff, uh, too many of us, including myself at times, and I know Alex at times, has made statements like this stuff is coming. The work this is coming, and you know the the fact is we're living in a new world order now, and have been for a long time. I mean, many of our young people have been. Uh, the question is, is how deep of a degree? Right, how deep? And I, in my personal opinion, is folks, is the uh, the world order people are are virtually on the uh, the premise of of uh, total control. Yeah, closing the doors on us. But I want to just mention, okay, as far as that goes, I'll find this quote here, man. Let me turn to Alex here. Uh, what do you see, Alex, as the uh, um, the total? Well, considering the fact, let me just briefly, okay, well, they've got their central bank. They've got their income tax. They've got their property tax. 
Uh, they've got sales taxes. They've got you know they've got permit fees. They've got licenses. regional governors they've controlled regional. by the federal control. What is their total plan, and how far are they at this time? Total. It's not going to be called religion, but it's going to be akin to all the false religions or state-sponsored brainwashing of the past. You're going to have a group psychology used, or a popular culture, or a peer pressure system used, or you know, so-called political well, correctness. Well, but, 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 I, hold I on, hold on, just for a second. Let's talk about. And I'm not going to interrupt you sure. for long. But didn't I just? Did, don't you think that a lot of that? I mean, we're living in that. I mean, here you, I mean, I, there's a comment that I just made a minute ago that, you know, a lot of people are, you know, this is coming. We're living in it. Everything yes, but, you said there, we're living in it. But the degrees are going to increase. Okay. You know, I talked this week about the October, or last week, about the October 31st issue of the movie section of the Statesman. And they had, they told you Boogie Nights is good, they told you this is good, and fine, go see, you know, whatever, those movies are whatever. And below it, they had a story about Red Corner, talking about how China had no human rights and how it's bad. And then the review, it said, wait a minute, China wouldn't have let off O.J. Simpson, their military tribunal wouldn't have let off O.J. Simpson, and they might have even roughed up the lawyers for taking the case. Wait a minute, what's wrong with that? So you talk about being in the system, we're beginning to see the heat turned up as these minions openly espouse we need totalitarian, authoritarian, fascism, slash, thug, whatever. Right. We need law and order. There's these people. Well, it was the media that gave us the O.J. Simpson case in its grand splendor and showed us how terrible it was. They are indoctrinating us, programming us, shock therapy, as you call it, yep. to, to just throw ourselves prostate on the, on the lap of the state and beg for total control. And our public schools are just filled with either mindless or... Turn the kids into vegetables. Yes, technicians yeah. that the kids only care about the shoes and the clothes, and other than that, they learn the UN's a great thing and world government's going to save us. Because if we don't give up all our rights to some world union of socialism co controlled by corrupt interest, you know, socialism for the poor, free market for the rich, if we don't turn that over to them, Mother Earth's going to die. The sun's going to drop into the sea. That's the same thing the witch doctor told primitive tribes 8,000 years ago. They'd say, if you don't follow me, the crops won't grow. And then the witch doctor would have handed down knowledge and would know when the eclipse was coming. And he'd say, you've been bad today. The sun will be blackened. And the sun would be blackened. And then everyone would believe he had all the answers. It's the same thing today. Let me just give one little quick case study. <coughs> I've had geology and basic history, and I've watched Discovery Channel and all, you know, I, I've studied a little bit. Well, we and, don't even know whether that's Well, true. exactly. But they've done ice cap studies, they've done core studies. But you studies. understand it, we don't know whether any of that... Exactly. Um, it, it, the, the, the lies are so complete. But let's... <laughs> we know this. The lies are so complete. Yeah. But we do know this. 12,000 years ago in northern Texas, because of boulder fields and the way stones are arranged and, and because of the geological record, that there were massive mile thick glaciers 12,000 years ago in, in the Panhandle of Texas. The earth has been warming for 12,000 years. We're on about an 18,000 year cycle of ice age and warm up. That's what the planet does. And if they can get us because of natural process to give up our rights, let me assure you, socialism isn't going to save the environment. In fact, look at the worst countries in the world for the environment. It's always socialist countries, communist countries. Look at Russia. A full fourth of the children there are born with serious birth defects. And these UT professors want to tell us that, we, that, that, that what's going to save the environment and the people is centralized power? It's really sick. Well, let me just say this. Uh, I think the last people that we would, want to, that we would expect to save the environment or, or to create a world government that's peace and prosperity are these criminals are the same people who have destroyed the nation and destroyed the environment they make their money out of out of out of militant this enthusiasm and out of panic they create panic and mayhem in a controlled this is formula the thing, uh, and they can and, and then they create the fusion of big government state this is the, this is the the fallacy of anybody that would aspire to this in fact uh, i've heard people say what's wrong with the one world government 
This is going to be peace and prosperity for they I hear it some, every day. But 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 they don't understand who's actually exactly Jeff, behind it. I want you to tell me just about mention, this. I want to I want to get personal over here again real quick here, Alex. Now you and I have, have talked about this stuff a lot. You know, in private. And I think this is the best way to keep this this program here tonight or today. And I think you folks are going to get a lot of out of this program. Um. You have mentioned privately and publicly that uh, for years you did not believe me, people like me, and that, I believe. Uh, no, wait, wait. What well, I let, let me just. I believe. I, I I knew that basically governments were in, were intrinsically dangerous through history. That they were corruptive. That they had forces. But now. Yeah, but let me make my point. Okay. Let me make my point. You, you now are starting to get to the point, and which I'm glad. Because we need all the people uh, to this point of this level of understanding that we can get. As far well, as, you know, quite frankly, Jeff, they're turning up the heat. Quite frankly, Jeff, the fact is, how could I miss it? They're turning up the heat. Well, there's a lot of people missing. Now, what I want to what I want to ask you, Alex, is obviously the whole world is lie right now. I'm virtually on every front. Um, it's very profitable. And you are you are becoming very much. Uh, seen much of the manipulation and process and much of the ma manipulation at work which I'm glad quite frankly I'm glad you are um, let me ask you is, is it is it because of, 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 of just different forms that you've seen in your opinion that, that's increasing your enlightenment to this or is it just doing do, uh, do, uh, because of their different actions that the other side is Well, doing. you've talked about how they would rather keep the, the, the move towards total police state and control because that's what they're after, total power of everything, and then it will only go in more successive waves is because they're sick mentally. Either it's gradual, they would rather keep it gradual, I believe. A lot of people think they want to have this big boom, it comes. No, they like to panic us if they have to. They'll reserve to Reichstag burning couple behavior. Couple Wacos. Or... Couple, couple of Oklahoma cities they'll create, like every other thug's done. All right. But what it comes down to is, is they, is I began to see it because they're just trotting right out in front. You you turn on C-SPAN and, so, well, and man, Foreign Affairs. This is the bi-monthly Let me book. go ahead and put it up yeah. there for you. Go tell them about it. Talking. Well, well, I'll let you talk tell them about it, but go okay. ahead. Okay. Let's get a close-up of this, or we can't. Well, go ahead, Alex. That's good. Foreign idea. Affairs is put out every two months by the CFR. It's Council on Foreign Relations. And their own bylaws of this secret organization say there's a non-published, non-disclaimer of anything spoken about. It's a secret organization. And right. they put out this, and, and if you open to the, to the first pages of this uh, July-August 1997 issue, it says, Women's Vital Voices, Swanee Hunt, Post-Communism Has Been Bad for Women. Their representation, employment, and safety have suffered. America must support women leaders and entrepreneurs from the transition to democracy and capitalism to be complete. They tell you that post-communism has been bad for women. Well, that's a damn lie, number one. Uh, you, you, you turn to the next page, and they tell you transferring the military. Well, yeah, but let me... I, well, well, listen, listen. They tell Alex, us, I don't want on, to interrupt you, well, well, they tell us, I have well, to. Hold on. They tell us that we should get rid of our aircraft carriers because they're useless. This is put yeah, out by Europe. But let me tell you something. I, I, I didn't want now. This is the first time I've interrupted you, but I got it. That's okay. This. Go ahead. Now, your understanding, somebody's understanding of what's going on that's in this front world. group. That's front group. Goes beyond just reading this thing. No, that's their there's front. Something that's that, their front BS. No, but there's something that, that you are seeing, either in the media, through certain laws raining down on us. There's something that, that, that somebody that, that reaches a certain level of understanding starts to see and it's not really so okay. much just in this okay you're seeing okay do, do, do you know what you I'm see seeing? the manipulation don't you <laughs> i see do you see the i see i see the manipulation intrinsically connected to everything i find out that the universities are controlled with, with 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 grant with, money with grant money and with tenureship to the professors if they don't spout the line they don't get the tenure and they tell us there's these goody two-shoe liberals or conservatives or whatever, and really all they are is fascist technicians. Basically, Jeff, I have. I've seen them on C-SPAN. Sandy Berger, our national security uh, agency president. No, uh, but when Clinton, I, I've got to ask sure. you, I want to get what I, out of you what I want here. He loves us. When Clinton says, and he goes up there and says, you know, we got to do this, 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 and this, 
for the kids. You see the media. Or for the environment. The media chants it. You now starting to see that this is a lie. Oh, it's, 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 it's more than a lie. It is a sick, twisted, emotionally packaged, uh, popular culture torpedo against the very spirit. Well, let me ask you this, though. Why can Alex Jones see it and Jeff Davis see it? Many of us do see it. And I, th I don't think we should be concerned about the matter as a whole. Jeff, but Jeff, why are there still lot, so Jeff, many people that Jeff, believe this stuff? A lot of people see it. But again, I go back to the central point. They have been made to feel like they are part of it, that they owe something to it, that it owes something to them, that the status quo... Now, what's the, pro what's the fallacy in that thinking? Well, the problem is, is you're dealing... Cream, they're well, well, they're say expendable. This. Well, they're very expendable. But let me say yeah. this. Cream rises to the top of the middle class. People can have good lives, have a good wife, uh, take their kids fishing, whatever. That's all fine, and you go to the art show or whatever you do for for, for, for life. That's all good, and, and, and if you want to be laissez-faire in those terms, that's fine. But scum rises to the top of the elite because you have to be ruthless. You have to be ready to kill and destroy whole third world nations. You have to be ready to send troops in. That's how this world works. It's modern Rome. You've yeah. got to crucify those people so that they have fear of you. You have got to brainwash your own subjects. You know, the, the most enslaved people in Babylon or Rome or Egypt were the actual nobles and kings themselves or the lower-level minions because they were in the very system. The lower-level slaves were beaten down and at least new things were corrupt. It's that middle class that thinks they really are the rich mm -hmm. when in truth they are paupers in flashy clothes. Very expendable. And mentally they are poor because they don't have one damn shred of real human spirit right i agree with Hello, folks this is mike hansen your good old youtube video buddy and we got a new youtube channel it's hansen archives h-a-n-s-o-n and we got a new one coming out waco archives be sure to hit that subscribe button right now and if you'd like to write us to help out with this project, uh, she's going to throw the address up right now for you. All right. And if you'd like to call us, 830-672-3089. Go ahead and tell them. Look at this little puppy. Tell them to subscribe. Say subscribe. All right, folks. God bless. Okay. Uh, well, folks, I want to just say this is very enlightening. Uh, and I'm sure that you all viewers are uh, maybe seeing Alex in a, 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 a very, uh, I think, impressive light here today. I want to just read one quote here. Uh, you know, this is also Texas, folks. This is, a, you know, big brother government, and it's all loving here. Remember, that's, that's what they tell us. It was George Washington who stated that government is not reason. It's not eloquence. It's force. It is force. Like fire, it is a dangerous servant and a fearful master. Now, with that, uh, Alex, find, winding down our final little. Uh, uh, How long do we have? Because I can't see the clock. Uh, about another fifteen minutes or so. Let me just. Man, let me just. Uh, yeah, I want you to mention. They got callers calling. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that's all about. But anyway, I don't want to, I want to keep this focused here. Well, Jeff, okay. I want to tell you this. We do. We have callers. Because we're in here taping a show. No one even knows we're on. we got callers. Okay, look. look I, turn around there. Okay, let me just mention here. I want to tell okay, you. Okay, yeah, let me just flash these up here real quick. Okay, folks. Now, you, the U.N., is, and Alex will tell you about it. Uh, this U.N., the United Nations, is presented as a loving organization. Now, Alex brought this uh, magazine down here to us. Another one of these. Tell us what's going on here, Alex, in this... Uh, well, I don't know if the camera's able to focus on yeah, that. Yeah, it might but, not. But, but, but that's the new... No, that, they can see that. Good. That's the new American, September 29, 97, and it shows them burning a Somali child. And if you open it up to the middle of the, of the little of the little magazine, it shows them cutting the heads off Somali children. It does do that. Yes. Why did we, why did we never hear about that? In the mainstream? That, yeah, that's an interesting point. I mean, every yeah. time I hear the UN, it's like they're trying to save somebody. And when I heard that these U-2 spy planes were going over to Iraq, I heard they were U that they were under UN control. Yeah, the U. The I mean, I mean, anybody that doubts the power of the UN, you got Ted Turner, the biggest communications mogul in the world, giving them control of his of his of his network in Europe, giving them a billion dollars in stock of Time Warner here in the U.S. 
you've got you've got the UN. There it is. You've got the, uh, it's got this back up here, man. Cutting the head off a child. You've got the UN ready to restrict our fossil fuel Can intake. We get this back up, and no one else has to follow it. You've got the UN okay. bankrupting third world countries. And I think I can get it in here for him to see. Go ahead, Alex. Go ahead and keep talking here. Well, I don't know. We can focus on that. Well, maybe you can. Well, but basically, basically, that folks, was pretty good. Show them again. That is a, folks, they've got images. Okay, basically, what you've got is a, uh, a loving a loving organization. Now, I don't want to get into any specific thing. I want to keep this, this, this in it. Now, it's gotten a little bit lively. The Nazis and that's okay, <laughs> but I wanted to keep this little discussion here with Alex on this special segment of the Jeff Davis Show, just at about the tone that it's been, and I love it. Now I just want to just briefly throw this up here: America's greatest problem. This isn't. Uh, we're not going to get into all of this. The government will own nothing. The people will own nothing. The corrupt bankers will own everything. Okay, basically, it's the debt usury money system uh, that. Uh, I want to now. I want to just fine tune this now. Jeff, you were on my radio show a couple weeks ago, and I want to talk about something beautiful you said. For years, you've been being called by the dupes, and it, and even halfway by me, you've been being called a little goofy, a little quirky, out of mm. control, talking about these black helicopters, the federalization of our local police departments, the centralization, the Joyce and Stunstoffel 1997 version. Right. Well, let's show those black helicopters from the Lair News Hour from September 23rd, 1997, where they admitted black helicopters for surveillance of the public under federal control by the local police department, and then it shows local SWAT team commanders saying it's top secret. I don't know whether I should ask you this or not now. Go ahead. But you made the comment. Now, you want me to ask you about I don't what, care. Let's be frank. what you told me about the, the other night on the FM radio show? What? About the helicopter hovering over my place. Jeff, I don't want You saw that. Jeff, huh? Jeff, I don't want to... You, you had told me I've seen black helicopters. Uh, Lair News Hour admits it's real. The other day I was driving over to your place to get you to go do a radio show. And I didn't want to believe it. I was about two miles away. I knew where your place was a couple roads down. And right over your apartments was hovering a, a small black, jet black helicopter directly over your apartment. As I turned in, the helicopter continued to hover. Your son heard me honking violently to get you to come out, but you were on the telephone with somebody, and it streaked off. And then when I told you, you had witnesses that it happened several years ago when you were running for Congress. This yeah. is... And, 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 and this wasn't the normal one. You yes. said this is the little black, uh, yes, the little shiny pea pod one. And, and the scary part is, is now Lair News Hour is admitting that all local police departments have these for surveillance of the general population. It's a federal grant. It's federally controlled, but in, but instituted by local police departments and the SWAT team people and the police say it's top secret and they won't talk about it. We are in a police state. Oh, yeah, have been for a long time. That's the one thing I want to emphasize. If nothing else comes out of this, uh, this, this uh, program here today, other than Alex, uh, is is very being very composed here today, and, and he's making a lot of good points. Is the fact, folks, that we we are not just uh, in a situation where we are uh, heading for trouble. We're in trouble. Yeah, we we're in trouble and have been in trouble and, for a and, long time. And in the next few years, it's already starting to happen with Access Television and FM Radio and AM Radio is being consolidated by insurance companies and banks. And there's even if people have got ratings. Oh, who was telling me? Somebody was telling me that. That the, the, the local, the, the, not the local, but the major news media is now are owned by seven companies. Seven yes. Companies. Well, the scarier part is, is those interlocking directorates are controlled by Rothschilds and Rockefeller and other interests. Plus the FCC license. Licensing. But the important yeah. part is, Jeff, is that people don't trust a lot of the things. And, I, and frankly, like you say, I don't care if they believe it anymore because I've seen yeah. it. Yeah, we're beyond. I don't know if your producer, Mike, who does a fantastic job, wants to rewind it to the point where it first shows the helicopters on the pad and just play 15 seconds where they admit on Lair News Hour that it's, that it's black helicopters, that it's, that, it's, that it's local, that it's controlled by the feds, and that it's for surveillance of the people. Just between you and me, Alex, I don't even care about 
flare them news out. I know the real. Oh no, I've seen them. I know. I don't need these uh, these CFR. Well, Jeff, I mean, I don't need these CFR dudes to tell me that they're real. I understand. I've seen but, them. But Jeff, two years ago, that was when I was kind of doubting you. I already knew it was true a year ago when SWAT team people here in Austin said, "Alex, I don't like it." Uh, we are trained with the military. It's house-to-house -house seizures. We're, we're practicing taking up firearms. We're practicing taking up, uh, uh, taking uh, like one family member. They're practicing rounding up people right now as we speak, and they've got the concentration camps built. In, oh, 19, yeah, in 1996, in 1995, they had fiscal year 1996 defense appropriations, Jeff, and I wasn't even I was aware, but I was just watching, and this is when I started waking up before I even got my access television show and then got good enough to get an FM radio show. I was sitting there, and I was, I was oil painting, watching this defense appropriation, and I saw this lady come forward from, from a Democrat from, from a Loving, from a uh, Republican to do it too, but a, a Loving, they always use Lovings, from California. She introduced $8 billion for urban warfare training centers and stockade facilities. That was just what they built in 1996. Eight billion dollars. They take old military facilities, bases, all those closings. They fence Which them. Which was planned in the 60s. Yes, they yeah. fence them and they turn them into concentration camps and they're yeah. just waiting all or over the UN country. training center. Yes. Uh, UN troops are training in Louisiana, Mississippi. Uh, Fort Almogordo, New Mexico. I've got that in a documentary coming up. German and Russian troops training. In fact, they have a uh, web, they used to have a website at the Fort Do you know why they have to do that though, Jeff? It, it's a whitewash. Well, it's it's it tells yes. the dumbbells. Well, see, they got them here, and we well, it, but who cares? The reason they have to do it is the same reason we have to go over to Bosnia to do stuff, because our American troops probably won't want to fire on U.S. citizens, even though they've asked yeah. them to do it in the questionnaires and the Marines and other things. So they're going to have to import uh, uh, occupation forces. And see, I used to think you were nuts when you yeah. said this, but now I see the U.N. preparing to restrict our fossil fuels. The U.N. has put up signs at the national parks that, that it's controlled by them. It's real. It's, it's, a, it's very Mike, much... Mike, can we, can we play... It's very much a possibility, too, that... Uh, Mike, let's just play just a, 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 those helicopters. Well, can... actually, we're running out of... We're, I, I want to get that. the last 10 minutes here to, to keep our schedule here. It's very possible that the U.N. folks itself could be a diversion, and... Uh, uh, they could implement something like Chinese forces or, or something, Russian forces or something. In fact, who was the old Federal Reserve Chairman? Fact, Ted, Ted who, who was the Federal Reserve Chairman before uh, Alan Greenspan? Paul Volcker. Paul Volcker called uh, just last month PC, on C-SPAN. He called for something stronger than the U.N. He said the U.N. has outlived its usefulness. Yeah. We need something stronger, something more militarized. We, the fact is, we don't know. But I'll tell, I will say one thing, folks. If and when... It gets to the point, and it could be, you know, and I, don't, I'm not, I don't make predictions, but if it gets to a point where they are publicly announcing that foreign troops are in American soil, on American soil. I'm going to have the hills. Doing, <laughs> <laughs> doing uh, policing operations. Loving, loving. That's when Jeff Davis quits his access show and his radio shows, and he's, he's heading for the hills. Okay, I'll fight the final area where I want to talk about, Alex, is in this global new world order. I, I believe, and we've discussed this privately, that uh, quite frankly the one worlders are, are uh, had a time schedule. And they're I, and I believe doing yeah, different, uh, re, uh, not just in America, although they consider us the, you know, the, the pesky one. We're the keystone of freedom. Right. What do they, in fact, well, that's why just, they've got to degrade the culture so bad. You know, 200 years ago, every country was enslaving and killing people. But how come in our history books we only hear about how America's bad? They've got to destroy our past so they can reinvent a future of slavery. Yeah, they. So we it. will accept fascism, and just like you said, and I've seen Henry Kissinger say it many times, it's the pesky Americans that keep them from. Yeah, the Henry Kissinger actually did say that. That in a Bilderberg meeting. Well, Paul Turner, Paul. That uh, you know, I mean, everything's I, I, moving me. right along. Ted, the past Ted Turner has called us useful feeders. I mean, yeah. I mean, useless feeders I on C-SPAN. But let me just let me just uh, for the last few minutes we have here. And Alex, I appreciate you. Yeah, Jeff, you did a great job. Jeff Davis show here, bro. Um, I, I personally think that they would like to have chips in all our hands, uh, tracking devices in all of our cars. They're already put them in the cars. Preferably. The majority, uh, many more of us, I'll put it that way, many more of us 
in buses, uh, trains. smart high trains, high speed rail. You know, you know, mobile. Uh, uh, Controlling mobility. Mobile slaves or free or uh, uh, yeah, mobile slaves are not good slaves. But let me just let me just let me just ask you this final uh, uh, final thing that we, we we talk about regularly. I believe personally that they are behind schedule a little bit. They're mainly due to the resistance, uh, not just in this America in a country, largely America, but other nations. Do you do you see with their with their goals of a new world order? That's coming out, with the folks. That's their goal. Slave system. A slave system. Global slave system. Do you do you? I mean, this is all prediction, and it's all kind. I guess I normally don't like to get into this, but do you do you see that they are on target, uh, behind schedule, and, and either or? Do the American people and the world's people as a whole? Do you believe that we have a chance of, turn, of, of turning this thing around? I believe that, like you said, we're in the we're already in this corrupt paradigm of delusion that they've created for us with slick packaging and, and psychology and, 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 and conditioning. But as we enter deeper into this system, as history's always done, this, the key is is these forums may be shut down in the future. The important point is is get enough information out now so that there is still a kernel of information of seed there buried buried there so that people can reach back and remember and get enough information. When you said chips in the hands and all that, a lot of people probably laugh, and I don't care anymore. You're right. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> because they've been thumb scanning people in Texas since 93 for driver's license or renewal, and Bill Clinton ordered in 96 that the states want their highway funds. By late 98, in most large states, during blood testing clinics for everyone. The news said 18 and under. I've read the actual... Not a bill, not a law, but the regulation, the federal uh, uh, little little uh, loving thing they gave us with, with, with no vote, tells them how to put the clinics in. It tells them you'll have Fourth and Tenth Amendment violations, uh, uh, you know, states' rights violations, and other things. Tells them how to get past that. Uh, tells them how to put the clinics in. Tells them how to raise money for it, partially out of tickets and from the federal grants. And if you want, and if we want our money for our highways that they take from us, we're going to have to do this. So. Man, if they want to start urine and blood testing us, and that's openly in the public now, uh, even though you have no criminal record, you're not innocent until proven guilty. It's an invasion of privacy. You can you can extract it's, all types of information yes, from people. DNA, you name it. The yeah. insurance companies will be buying it up feverishly, and genealogy. People, people will be losing. Yes, yeah, people will be, and the, the elites very hung up on that. See, I didn't used to, and now they. And again, a few years ago, you didn't used to believe any of this. Listen, either. listen. A few years ago, a few years ago, we were kooks to talk about black helicopters. Now it's well, right. we weren't. Hold on, hold on. we weren't. They, that's what they, they said we were programmed yes, to say. Yeah. But but listen, now now it's just you guys don't be alarmist. Okay, yeah, we need true. that. We need these secret yeah. units and every. And now, when the urine and blood testing starts, we won't be crazy anymore because they'll actually hear, go have to do it. They won't. The people are too lazy usually to, is, go, to go check it out. Then, then it'll be okay. That's a good idea. And when they want to put chips in our hands, I guess, or, or up our ass, it'll be the same thing. Yeah, it'll be the same thing. Three years from now, oh, you know, they're saying, oh, these guys are just alarmers. Blah, blah, blah. Three years from now. They'll be, they'll be moving towards doing that. And they'll be saying, it's okay. We need it to protect our, uh, you know, uh, well, little you know, old it's, ladies out the farm. It's like Austin Access is owned. It's basically, let me just say sure. this. Let me ask you this. Now, you know, well, it's basically, this was, <laughs> this was a very powerful point that we discussed privately. And it's basically, even in Alex, just the masses. And I'm not trying to make a lot of people angry here, but this is just the truth if you're watching this program. They're furniture. Yeah, basically, they're told something one day, and they believe that, and, 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 and then the news, can, the so-called news, can come out with something completely different the next day. And they go, okay. And they believe that, forgetting completely what they were told <laughs> I know. the day before. How do they do it? How do they do it? I mean, I mean how... And, and it, it, it's no self-respect. It's no. It, it's nothing. It's there's no real mooring. And, and now you're back to something more important. It's just reacting. Well, no. Jeff, th here's another point, a very important psychological point you just brought up. We have to use psychology in this because yeah. advertisement is psychology. That's what it is. Yeah. It's the Brainwashing, highest washing. Yeah. It's the highest form of of conditioning. Yeah. What do they tell us? Yeah. You hear this everywhere. It doesn't matter. Nothing's set. Who are you to say what's right and wrong? Well, I assure you out there. 
if you if I come up to you, Jeff, and and or or let's say you're tied down, and I come up and 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 and, and stick an axe in your head, you know that was wrong. Yeah. You didn't deserve that. Yeah. That's wrong. If somebody comes up, I'm not talking about one well, world. Well, exactly. Well, if somebody, <laughs> well, listen, well, listen. If somebody comes and robs your house for no reason, or rapes and kills your family, people will say that's wrong. That's still wrong in our culture, but not for long. We'll still be like an Aztec or a or a, or a Babylonian society where we sacrifice our children to the government yeah. or to whatever God, the government gives us. Yeah. We're in this sick group psychology where we're totally losing losing it with the basic human cord that's there. Uh, this is the the basic law. Nothing's perfect. Nothing's set. So people don't even. Again, you got the statesman in the movie section saying, "Hey, the Chinese wouldn't let off OJ." So that's where we're at now. They're calling for fascism. It's okay because nothing matters, Jeff. Nothing's yeah, they're, set. They're basically being conditioned to believe that everything that going that's going on around doesn't it, matter. Yeah, it's, it's just it's, react. Just it's, react it's, like it's, cattle. But it's acceptable. Yes, anything. Black ski map, Ben busting into your house with black ski map. Okay, we're, we're ready to wind down here. I want to give Alex, Alex, i got to say that you did a fantastic presentation, folks. And, Appreciate uh, that. I want to mention that for the viewers out here of the Jeff Davis Show, uh, I don't know whether I can do this or not, but I, but but if, if you like the pro... Okay, we won't do it. Uh, but anyway, um, this has been a special segment here tonight, and I think, folks, that, uh, let's face it, bottom line is, uh, there is a conspiracy, if you even call it that. Human history is repeating and, itself. And regardless, and, and, and let's, it's time to deal with it. Alex Jones, I want to give you a special, uh, uh, time here to make a quick closing statement. I appreciate you coming on the phone. I Thanks. love Mike Hansen archives. Yeah! You ready to run? Look who we got here. Somebody that we haven't seen in about 20 years is Hello the there. Late How are and you? great, late and great. Good to see you. George Humphrey. Yes. Tell oh my <laughs> goodness. I see who it is. Yes. <laughs> Tell us what you've been up to. Oh my god goodness. Isn't this a great day? Yes. It's amazing. Tell us why you're here, Harvey, because it's my Facebook. My heart is heavy for the world, but my heart is also happy for the good people here. We need to get back to work, and we need to realize that the cure, this cure, it's not a cure, it's not about a virus, it's about political control. And we are free and sovereign, and we have the choice to, to be either be slaves or to be free. I choose to be free, yes. Well, guess what I did? I bought about $20,000 worth of editing equipment and hired some people to put all the tapes on for the last 25 years and you're on there so i want you to and, and i got i'm gonna plug my youtube channel okay great great mike great. hansen of course archives of course hansen archives and waco I, archives. I didn't recognize you at the start okay so i need you to say this is george humphrey and i love mike hansen archives this is George Humphrey, and this guy is awesome. Mike Hansen, the Mike Hansen Archives. Check it out. You're on there. We just put about three tapes of you on there. And you had slick black hair then. <laughs> now, right. it's, now it's all dyed. <laughs> all right. God bless y'all. We'll see okay. you in a minute. You're on. Hey, everybody. This is Kevin Smith, and I love Mike Hansen Archives. Check it out. And Hansen Archives. And Hansen Archives? Yeah, I got three YouTube channels. Give them all to me. I'll do it. I'll <laughs> rob and fire them. God bless you. Thanks, Mike. This is Desi Mariah Andrews, and I love Hansen Archives and Waco Archives on YouTube. And Mike Hansen Archives. And Mark Hansen Archives. He forgot to tell me that. Oh, uh, and, and I love Desi Andrews. <laughs> <laughs>